All right, we're back with Steinscape Review. This is probably as much as my voice can take for now, but uh, I forgot to be uploading stuff while I was recording these. But now we're now we're uh, doing such. Um, the uh, North Pole needs better internet. So do I. But uh, I was going to see if people got tricked into thinking I'm at North Pole. All right. Episode three. Um, all right. So the uh, banana teleported. Not only that, but they have a witness outside of their group. Makise, of all people having observed and seen and overheard what had just happened. And she's curious. Not good. Not good when you have that big of a secret. ay 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 A chick? Come on. We know what could happen. Easily happen. She could go gossip it everywhere and put them at risk all right so makise in the future gadget lab makes herself known to daru and okabe and knows about the experiment she's intrigued about the words uh that he said to her prior about her having died and of course now seeing the experiment she's double curious what's going on here. Magize Karisu introduces herself to Okabe. Okabe tries to uh, trust Magize, but things aren't perfect yet. Um, obviously, when you first get to know someone, you're not going to really trust them right off the bat. <clears throat> None the, no, especially less if you just invented a teleporter and it, someone you don't know just saw and witnessed it and is curious. Uh, yay, yay, yay. Fast friendship now. You've got to be able to trust him. So, uh, and then um, her calling him out. Hentai. Mikey say uh, suspects the... Um, Microwave did the uh, uh, teleporting. Daru and Okabe conclude for her to become a member of the lab and help out. Makise agrees to not call the cops on them after claiming Okabe had groped her formally. Uh, he uh, he's stunned that she's alive. He wanted to make sure. He wanted to make sure she's real. So he was going through her hair, poking her in the cheek, making <laughs> sure she's real. <laughs> to her dismay, what's going on? And then even going like that. Oh man, you are asking for it, Okabe. Goodness. And here is where she gets her better name, Christina. Mayuri finds Makise as a new lab member, which makes her quite happy to be. Uh, which makes her quite happy because she is, has been the only female member of the lab. So now there's two. Okabe and Daru find out the microwave. Uh, had electricity yesterday around noon. Daru wired it to his phone and the text got sent at noon and that Daru was running tests at that time. So there were very specific things going on. They're trying to pin things down of what's going on, what happened. So the um, best thing they are thinking is to 
duplicate what had just happened in a sciency way to make sure that they get the same result. Same result. Um, so they have to send a text. And <laughs> I forget who, but it, it ends up being Okabe is a hentai, which gets sent back in time. Mayuri uh, opens up the microwave um, prematurely because she's a blonde. <sighs> and the lab gets damaged by the microwave. Okabe protects Mayuri, shielding her with his own body, getting her down. After all that, after the smoke settles, clears, Okabe checks his phone. The text successfully went back in time to 2010-724 at 17.30. Okabe concludes the text went five days to the past. The microwave hooked up to the cell phone is... A time machine. A time machine. Okabe receives several messages of spam from Moaka. Daru mentions his 2D women. Oh boy. Oh boy. And there's the recall of uh, what happened afterwards of Makise running off scared after the experiment happened. Um, so she was spooked about the time machine being real. Um, I guess that's kind of a bit of some funny and irony there because they, d they debated about time travel and time machines. So I don't know, even given that he lost the debate, I guess you could say he still won I don't know I just thought of that um, she beat him in a debate about time travel and time machines but then he actually makes the dang thing that might be some unintentional comedy I don't know anyhow so Makise is gone now Daru talks of CERN's LHC, Large Hadron Collider. Okabe mentions John Titer to Daru. Then we got the um, European Organization in Nuclear Research. Um, the LHC, there's rumors about it being able to create micro black holes. They're doing all sorts of stuff. Who knows? Who knows on all that sort of stuff? Once in a while you see a uh, article about the sort of all this wacky trash they're messing with which I don't know they're gonna do anyway uh, all the different countries are uh, can't stop that but I I probably do think they're messing with things they probably shouldn't be with, messing with uh, it's just bonkers what they uh, can do and are messing with <clears throat> Anyhow, a lot of talk stirred up online. Speculation that um, time travel, the successful time travel method, would involve many black holes. So, so if you add it up, LHC rumored to be able to make micro black holes, and the speculation online is that you need the micro black holes to do the time travel. However, CERN announced failures for making many black holes. All that, believe you me, all that stuff about black holes and stuff, all the super sciencey, wacky speculation, as deep as you want, if you want that, it's in the Steinsgate visual novel. Holy moly, did it have some 
deep stuff on that. Jeez. Um, that, that'll boggle your mind <clears throat> successfully several times over. Um, good luck remembering any of that. Jeez. Um, then we get an L. Sai Kungru. Okabe tells Daru to hack into CERN to find out their research progress. Hack into CERN? One of the top things of the world? <laughs> he tells him to hack into one of the top places in the world. Absolutely bonkers. All right, now Suzuha talks to Okabe. Tells her, he tells her of the plan with CERN. She uh, overhears, overheard some of their talking from the first floor sidewalk, their window they left open. She vows to keep everything under wraps, a secret. Suzuha mentions um, his new text, wondering if it's a new daily death report. Uh, then she throws her own statement under the bus. Um, the uh, IBN 5100 topic comes up. Suzuha knows of it, knows of the topic. Time Traveler, John Titer, she's read about him as well. It's a popular thing. Lots of people have heard about it. Um, I don't think I did prior to Steinscape. I don't think I did. <clears throat> Very interesting thing, though. The IBN 5100 supposedly has special read abilities. You can read certain stuff, code, or whatever the case. Okabe runs off, talks to John Titer online of that new bit of info, reads up on it, World's li world lines are explained, divergent number tossed out there. Um, big enough change to shift the world line memories getting wiped if that happens so we're getting some more info dump here and there um kind of explaining things john titer claims cern has made many black holes 2036 is when cern controls mostly everything because of their monopoly on time travel it's, it endangers the world, essentially. IBN 5100 is needed to halt their control. Uh, once again, denies to be from or traveled to the year 2000, but could be the him from another world line. Oh, boy. John Titer gives his email to Okabe. Tuturu. Miuri. Daru doing a hack, um, or Daru is a hack, hacker, oh man, and that reminds me, I just remembered something, I just remembered something, and I'm so glad I remembered it, I was bound to remember it at some point along the, doing these reviews, something that's kind of neat, kind of neat, that I had found on YouTube, I forget how, or when, but, um, uh, was a while back but and you might not be f completely interested it's not a 10 out of 10 type of a deal it, it was a nice attempt but I even forget what it's called but look up something like Steinsgate living or something like that it's it's like a live rendition of Steinsgate uh, bits and pieces of it they did pretty good. They did pretty good. I thought it was quite interesting. I was very curious if they did, if they were all the actual voices of the characters or whether they just did voiceover somehow. Um, it was awesome though. It was, it was pretty cool. Um, so if you want to look that up, that's pretty neat. If you're a Steinsgate fan, you'll, definitely want to at least check it out to see if you're interested um like i say it's not 10 out of 10 um but it's pretty neat it's pretty neat to see it in a different 
version, a real life version. Um, they did pretty good. Um, but anyhow, um, Mayuri learns of the hacking thing. Mayuri is not for it. She disagrees with them wanting to hack into the place CERN and see what's what's really going on top organization of the world Mayuri does not want them to go through with it um, and she wants Makise to return to the lab and lo and behold Daru has hacked into CERN all their base are belong to him limited without ID and Daru being a hentai. Here we get uh, first first scoop translations of emails of the Large Hadron Collider from CERN. I think what they do is uh, what it is is they they super fast collide tiny particles together and see what happens type of a deal something like that and probably worlds other things we don't know about <sighs> obviously they search for the term time machine it comes back with nothing now if you were top organization in the world I mean maybe you would use that term but then again something that sensitive and powerful that's what she said um, you would <laughs> You would, um, you would probably want to come up with another term for it so that people did not know what you were talking about if indeed you were hacked or something along those lines. So Daru finds that there is some degree of chit-chat about a supposed Z program whatever that means there's reports about a Z program what they find confirms uh, CERN's successes with being able to forge mini black holes thus it contradicts what they face value told the public boy oh boy that's the thing you, you don't know you you just don't know I mean heck you wouldn't even know if all this was legit you know if, if they allowed themselves to be hacked or something like that on purpose and had false info like uh, counterintelligence or something um, boy that would put the spooks in others jeez anyhow a report is read off before the episode has ended off here and it turns up the heat a little bit turns up the heat a little bit here's the report conclusion outcome human is dead mismatch Okabe concludes a person died dun 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 dun, dun. that's the episode so it turns up the heat now things are getting significant
and I had some, I had a minor bit of speculation. I had a minor bit of speculation here, I think. Or maybe it was later on, I don't know. I don't necessarily want to say, because I don't want it to potentially be spoilery beyond this episode, but chances are people aren't going to want to see a review of the episode unless they've seen it. Um, so... You know, outcome human is dead, mismatch, mismatch. I kind of pondered more along the lines of the mismatch part. Like, what's going on with that? Why is why is something a mismatch? That's where my speculation went. Why why mismatch? What what kind of a mismatch? What what are they? What are they trying to achieve? What are they looking for? What what's going on there? What what would be a match? You know. What what human would be a match, if any, type of a deal? That's where my mind kind of went, I think. Best I can recall. And I think it would be the case for any of us. Any of us who have seen Steins Gate and is a big old fan of Steins Gate and the time travel genre any of us would love 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 love, love to <laughs> use time travel for good <laughs> go back in time to watch it blind again if at all possible so I don't know. I don't know what my favorite part of this episode was. Um, probably that cliffhanger again. Dang. I like the most meat and potatoes moment. The most hype worthy moment. The heaviest moment. So, anyhow, that's my thoughts. What's your favorite part of the episode? All right, I think we're, we've done enough for now. So, anyhow, anyhow, I'm not necessarily trying to, sp you know, speak the review in any necessarily particular voice, but I guess I am talking about it in a slightly deeper voice, I guess. Um, definitely want to sound pretty good. But anyhow, 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 thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more. And it'll be difficult not to check out Steins Gate Zero soon enough. That's going to be interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting to say the least. The only problem is knowing the end. It's just point A to point B type of a deal. So it's the journey. The other difficulty is, hey, setting Steins Gate aside as a standard when one checks out Steins Gate Zero. One has to forget and set aside the experience that was Steins Gate. All that. All those moments, all those moments. And just enjoy the ride of whatever Steins Gate Zero has to offer. It's going to be interesting. So, anyhow, I think that'll do us. So thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more Steins Gate Review. Episode by episode. Just 
bare essential notes based on the episodes of the events, what happens in them. Not blind notes, just notes. So, we'll see. Anyhow, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more. I will see you up ahead. As always, take her cool.